There's a great new Do Not Disturb feature on iOS 12. I'm Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com. I'm going to show you how to get a better night of sleep with your iPhone. First thing you're going to do is open up Settings and then tap on Do Not Disturb. Now here you're going to tap on Scheduled. And if you don't already have the schedule you want, tap on where it says From and To. On this screen, choose when you want this to go to and then tap on Back. And then make sure you have Bedtime toggled on. That's the new feature. And with this, you're going to be able to have your do not disturb turn on automatically, but you're not going to see the notifications on your lock screen, which is really important because if you glance at your phone to see what time it is at 3 a.m. and you see a text or a Slack message or an email from your boss or someone else, it could get your mind racing and keep you up the rest of the night. With this, that's not gonna happen. It's really great. I've been using it for a week now and it's my favorite iOS 12 feature so far. Now, one thing that you should do while you're doing this is choose when you want the phone to be silent, whether that's when it's locked or always. So this way, if it's on always, it'll always happen when the phone is locked. So if you're using your phone actively during this period, calls and notifications will still come through. You can also do allow calls from favorites. And I recommend that you add your family or other people who need to reach you at any time to that list. I'd turn on repeated calls. If someone calls you within three minutes of the original call, it will ring. That way, if there's an emergency, someone can get to you. And then at the bottom, you also have do not disturb while driving options. But overall, this bedtime do not disturb is really great. You can check out a link down in the description below for more details on how to set this up and other information about iOS 12. If you found this video useful, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Let us know what else you wanna know how to do on iOS 12 or with your iPhone.